Better Watch Out is a oops, sorry about that. Better Watch Out is a interesting movie because it's one of the few movies that I got spoiled on. Now, granted, I'm not a person that you know makes a big deal if I get spoiled on a movie. Like if I get spoiled, it's like oh okay, well, that sucks, but you know low expectations. And granted, this movie probably if I didn't get spoiled may have like that a bit better. But overall, it's 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 a good movie. It's a interesting take. Kind of they pull a rug under you. So it's like around Christmas time. You got this babysitter named i'm so bad with names who is this girl's name ashley that's her name this baby's name ashley's gonna babysit her her sitter oh my god i'm forgetting names luke or garrett and garrett i think luke is the main boy girls and babysits these i guess boys and luke being the you know the 12 year old that he is decides to they're in this new age of technology so he decides to look up on how to get a girl on google by the way which is sort of a play on i'm assuming i i don't know I'm assuming what most boys do that's what they do these days is Instead of actually sort of just talking to a girl, they decided just to look it up or Google up on how to like talk or get with a girl. And they, they like look on these advices, even though almost every one of these girls that they think they can talk to are completely different. So, you know, these boys, specifically Luke, he just doesn't get it. He's like kind of ignorant and just kind of out there, basically. So, yeah, she gets there. He even tries to hit her on once. Obviously, it doesn't work because, you know, gross. And then a home invasion starts. And you're still thinking, okay, this is so the whole boy thing, him that doesn't matter i guess it was an invasion his friend gets gary gets shot in the backyard you know like, oh shit a kid just got killed both in a closet turns out gary is wearing like a mask pretending to be a robber so this whole home invasion thing was just a ruse in order for to get luke to think that he will you know she will fall in love or actually will fall in love with him and yeah obviously that doesn't work it's a dumb idea and so she's obviously pissed off and he starts to yell her name slaps her face she falls down the stairs knocks her out gary is like what the hell did you just do this boy is crazy and then he like has a gun it also turns out apparently his parents are like oblivious to this he like has sleepwalking problems and like these weird little things turns out your little boy is just crazy he's 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 insane thinking he can get girls to do this whole fake invasion thing it's like an awful prank on youtube those fake pranks and you know they're not real so kind of same vein as little boy him and his friend again put his whole thing up he's trying to fall in love with ashley it's just a 12 year old boy sort of weird fantasies coming to to lighten but you know it doesn't work it's, it's interesting to us i'm thinking wow this is a uh, completely like 180 or 360 man this shit just turned around quick like you know and then it's because not gonna lie, I, I was kind of bored like during the whole okay trying to give ashley your babysitter blah 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 this isn't porn you know he like slaps her she falls down and then she like calls her boyfriend over because they were planning something obviously and so they you know, have to hurt him as well and so they advise his plan which they had planned from the very beginning planting seeds wonder if a bucket of paint will blow a person's head off from a second story and swinging it down to the first story or first floor and it does so they tie him up they kill him by the way throwing swinging this bucket of full of yellow paint bam smash to his head and then paint comes out but then slowly blood starts coming out and so it, the little boy starts laughing garrett doesn't by the way garrett's kind of like this is awful this is not good we should probably be in jail for this but your boy luke over here just insane he's crazy man doing whatever he wants kind of ungrateful sport little brat ashley obviously is upset she gets a gun turns out it's a fake so not only is he psychotic he's supposedly smart and he is he tricked his parents think he could sleepwalk at night in order just to sneak away out of his window like that that's a smart king evil kid again they tire up and then another guy shows up i don't remember if this guy's a friend or just a neighbor but then he luke has to kill him too he like chokes him out with his rope and hangs him on top of the tree he's just like killing now on purpose he's just he's just on the loose while that's happening actually trying to convince garrett to free her because garrett you know being the real that he is as well take his liking into ashley but then luke finds out he starts yelling at garrett telling me he's his only friend why the fuck did he do that he even kills his own best friend the only friend part only best friend he will ever have he kills him over a girl basically that's kind of creepy I, I i can get the, the creepy factor from this movie is this luke boy who you know he's just a 12 year old right he's supposed to be innocent he's oblivious to the real world which is evident because he thinks he can just google on how to get a girl you know a product i, I guess of today's like standards and technology assumingly just ashley and luke and again they like kind of a twist of shakas he like kills her you're thinking there's no way the movie's gonna end with him fucking getting out of it this goddamn 12 year old snake is gonna fucking be free from this turns out she actually didn't die she somehow survived from the knife he like puts everything back together mother 
comes in, she flips off the Luke, and that's how the movie ends. Really dark and fucked up. If they end in the movie with Luke getting away, this 12 year old is killing four people, okay? Ashley, Garrett, Ashley's boyfriend, this other guy, and just getting away with murder like that? Hell no. But obviously, Ashley, you know, she survives. She's gonna tell everything, and he's gonna have to go to Juvie for that. Not prison. Me? He's gonna go to prison. Fuck this little boy. I remember saying this movie is amazing. I can see why. However, I was spoiled in one of the few movies that probably didn't need for me to be spoiled i got spoiled on but yeah over it's i still think it's a good movie next is day nine october 9th it's going to be maggie arnold and this little girl i've always wanted to see this movie because arnold's in it and it's a drama horror so it's, that's gonna be interesting to see 